Number 1. Save bacon grease. Don't throw away that bacon grease. After cooking bacon, pour the grease into a jar and store it in the refrigerator. You can use it as a flavorful cooking fat for frying eggs, sautéing vegetables, or making homemade gravies. It adds a rich, smoky flavor to many dishes and reduces the need for buying additional cooking oils. Bacon grease can also be used in baking for added moisture and flavor, especially in savory baked goods like cornbread. Number 2. Make your own broth. Save vegetable scraps, chicken bones, and meat trimmings to make your own broth. Simply simmer them with water, herbs, and spices to create a delicious and nutritious base for soups, stews, and sauces. Homemade broth is not only more flavorful but also free from the preservatives found in store-bought versions. You can freeze the broth in ice cube trays for easy portioning or store it in jars for later use. Number 3. Regrow Green Onions After using the green tops of onions, place the white bulbs in a glass of water on a sunny windowsill. They will regrow, providing you with a continuous supply of green onions for your dishes. This simple trick reduces waste and saves money on buying fresh herbs. You can also plant the bulbs in soil for a more permanent green onion garden. Number 4. Use up stale bread. Stale bread doesn't need to be thrown away. Transform it into croutons, bread pudding, or homemade breadcrumbs. Simply toast the bread, then crush it or blend it to the desired consistency. These breadcrumbs can be used for coating meats, adding texture to casseroles, or topping pasta dishes. Another option is to make French toast or panzanella salad, both of which are perfect for using up stale bread. Number 5. Freeze leftover herbs. If you have herbs that are about to go bad, chop them up and freeze them in ice cube trays with a little water or olive oil. These herb cubes can be popped into soups, stews, or sauces for a burst of flavor. This method preserves the freshness of herbs and reduces waste. You can also dry herbs by hanging them in bundles or using a dehydrator, then store them in airtight containers for long-term use. Number 6. Plan your meals. Grandma always knew the importance of meal planning. Plan your meals for the week and create a shopping list based on your plan. This helps you buy only what you need, reducing food waste and saving money on groceries. Stick to your list to avoid impulse purchases. Additionally, planning meals around sales and seasonal produce can further reduce costs and ensure you're eating fresh, nutritious food. Number 7. Cook in bulk. Prepare large batches of meals and freeze portions for later. This not only saves time but also ensures you have homemade meals ready to go, reducing the temptation to order takeout. Soups, stews, casseroles, and pasta sauces freeze particularly well. Label and date your frozen meals to keep track of what you have and use the oldest items first to prevent freezer burn. Number 8. Use every part of the vegetable. Don't throw away vegetable peels and stems. Use them to make vegetable stock or add them to soups and stews for extra flavor. Carrot tops, beet greens, and broccoli stems can be cooked and eaten as well. This practice maximizes the use of your produce and minimizes waste. You can also blend vegetable scraps into smoothies or pestos, adding nutrition and flavor without extra cost. Number 9. Make your own cleaning solutions. Save money on expensive kitchen cleaners by making your own. Mix equal parts vinegar and water for an effective all-purpose cleaner. Add a few drops of essential oil for a pleasant scent. This homemade solution is safe, non-toxic, and environmentally friendly. Baking soda is another versatile ingredient that can be used for scrubbing surfaces and deodorizing the kitchen. Number 10. Stretch meat with fillers. Make your meat dishes go further by adding fillers like beans, lentils, rice, or vegetables. This not only reduces the amount of meat you need to buy but also adds nutritional value to your meals. For example, add lentils to ground beef for tacos or burgers or mix rice into meatloaf. These fillers are inexpensive and can help you create more balanced and satisfying meals. Number 11. Preserve seasonal produce. Buy fruits and vegetables in bulk when they are in season and preserve them by canning, freezing, or drying. This ensures you have access to affordable, high-quality produce year-round. Homemade jams, pickles, and dried fruits are delicious and cost-effective. Preserving produce at its peak also means you're getting the best flavor and nutritional value. Number 12. Repurpose leftovers. Get creative with leftovers by turning them into new meals. Use leftover roast chicken for sandwiches, salads, or casseroles. Transform yesterday's dinner into a hearty soup or a tasty stir-fry. This practice prevents food waste and makes mealtime more exciting. 
leftover rice can be turned into fried rice, while mashed potatoes can become potato pancakes or shepherd's pie. Number 13. Bake your own bread. Baking bread at home is not only cost-effective but also allows you to control the ingredients and avoid preservatives. Try making simple recipes like no-knead bread or sourdough. The aroma of freshly baked bread will fill your home and warm your heart. You can also experiment with different flours and add-ins like seeds or herbs to create unique and delicious breads. Number 14. Grow your own herbs. Start a small herb garden on your windowsill or in your backyard. Fresh herbs like basil, parsley, and thyme are easy to grow and can save you money compared to buying them at the store. Plus, they add a burst of flavor to your dishes. Growing your own herbs also ensures you have a constant supply of fresh, pesticide-free herbs right at your fingertips. Number 15. Make your own snacks. Instead of buying expensive packaged snacks, make your own. Popcorn, granola bars, and trail mix are easy to prepare at home and can be customized to your taste. Homemade snacks are often healthier and more affordable. You can control the ingredients and avoid excess sugar, salt, and preservatives found in store-bought snacks. Number 16. Use cloth napkins and towels. Switch from disposable paper products to reusable cloth napkins and kitchen towels. This not only saves money but also reduces waste. Keep a stash of cloth towels handy for spills and cleaning tasks. Cloth napkins add a touch of elegance to your meals and can be easily washed and reused. Number 17. Utilize your freezer. Freeze leftovers, extra portions of meals, and even surplus produce to extend their shelf life. Properly storing food in the freezer can prevent waste and save you money. Label items with the date to keep track of freshness. You can also freeze fresh herbs, grated cheese, and even citrus zest to have them on hand whenever you need them. Number 18. Make homemade condiments. Many condiments, such as salad dressings, mayonnaise, and ketchup, can be made at home with simple ingredients. Homemade condiments are often healthier and more economical than store-bought versions. Experiment with different flavors and ingredients to create your own unique blends. Making your own condiments also allows you to control the sugar, salt, and preservatives in your diet. Number 19. Store food properly. Learn how to store different types of food to extend their shelf life. For example, store potatoes and onions in a cool, dark place and keep herbs in a jar of water in the refrigerator. Proper storage techniques can prevent spoilage and reduce food waste. Use airtight containers to keep dry goods fresh and rotate your pantry items to use the oldest items first. Number 20. Use up dairy products. Don't let dairy products go to waste. Use sour milk in baking, make cheese or yogurt from excess milk, and turn leftover cream into butter. These practices maximize the use of your dairy products and save money. Yogurt can be used in smoothies, dressings, and marinades while cream can be whipped or used in sauces and soups.